Good morning. It's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. I'm trying to fix this so it doesn't glare on my glasses, but y'all probably just gonna have to uh, see the glare because I've got to read. Let me see if I can fix it this way. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. It's the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. And um, yesterday, we actually did not have our Thanksgiving. We had to work. Um, I had quite a few things to do. We both did for my brother. We are working on a church um, for him, and he's wanting it to be finished. So we actually worked all day yesterday and did not do Thanksgiving. Today is our Thanksgiving. Today is the day that we will give the Lord thanks for the year for all that we have, and I hope um, that y'all tune in today, those of you who are not shopping on Black Friday. Um, I will be cooking quite a bit today. I will go live on Facebook and YouTube different times of the day, uh, so y'all will see a lot of our family today. I'm hoping that the kids will get up and pitch in a little bit with the cooking. I'm not sure if they will, um, but we're going to start the day off with the Lord uh, because he is good, and without him, we would have nothing. Uh, the preacher said last Sunday, um, if you only had tomorrow what you thank the Lord for yesterday, what would you have? And that's a lot to think about, because um, it's hard for us to take the time out for God, and sometimes it's even hard for us to take the time out to pray. So, um that's going to be my subject today. If you um, only have today what you thank the Lord for yesterday, what would you have? Um, and so many of us go to the Lord in prayer, and I'm hoping that we're thankful and that we talk to him about the things that we're thankful for. Um, that's what Thanksgiving is about. And um, today I'm going to read you um, something out of my, my study Bible and it is about time management. It says using God's gift of time. And this is good for all of us because um, I encourage you to listen and tune in and don't uh, sign off because this is some really good tips for us um, as women, as mothers, as grandmothers, as friends, as neighbors. And even if you're a man listening this morning, it's good for anybody uh, to listen to. And I'm going to read this to you. Now, I know I do a lot of reading on here, but y'all be patient with me. Just sit back, even close your eyes, and just listen to what I'm saying, okay? Because it can be an encouragement to you uh, throughout the week. It says, using God's gift of time. It says, time management is not just keeping up with the busy, uh, not just keeping busy, um, but it includes finding God's focus for you. Okay, it says that choosing um, a direction and moving ahead to accomplish your goals is important. Managing time is one of the most difficult yet helpful skills a woman can develop. Um, it says it takes maximum effort and realistic planning. It says first you must acknowledge that you have time. And that's where so many of us fail. We think, oh, I don't have time to do this, and I don't have time to do that. And um, it, listen to this, because, I mean, even me with this Bible study, you know, I've kind of put it on the back burner and only uh, been able to do it so often, and I should take the time out for God no matter what, okay? And so this says um, the same amount, it says, acknowledge that you have time, the same amount God has given to everyone. You, with God's help, must determine how to use your time. There's a Proverbs that's listed with that. If y'all want to look it up, if y'all want to take a note, it's Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. I'm not going to go there because um, we're actually going to read a psalm today. But it says, you err in letting others decide your priorities and make your schedule. So they're saying that we go wrong by letting others make our schedule and our priorities. It says, remember that by using small bits of time faithfully, you can accomplish great things. Okay? The foremost challenge a woman faces is not to orchestrate her life or plan her year 
And, you know, we've got the new year coming up, and a lot of people try to make um, New Year's resolutions. And so this is kind of what he's saying, or she's saying. Uh, she's saying that's not what's most important. Uh, what's most important is to think about what you're going to do every day. It says, um, order each day according no, order each day allowing for sufficient rest, proper nutrition, and exercise, and a quiet time spent exclusively with the Lord. To focus on what is really important, meaningful time must be a sign for vital relationships, especially with a spouse or children in your home. So they're letting us know that, I mean, while goals are important, while Planning for the year is important. What's most important is our time each day, that we spend enough time with our families, with the Lord, with our children, with our husband or wife. Um, and that's what's most important. Um, it says that <clears throat> the woman of strength arose early to plan for the day's activities. That comes out of Proverbs, y'all. Um it's out of Proverbs 31, verse 15. It says, just as she had maid servants, women today have appliances, vehicles, as well as utility and telephone services. These blessings of God are ready to help and serve women in daily mundane tasks, giving them a maximum amount of time to spend with the Lord and to serve others. <clears throat> I'm hoarse this morning. Okay. So she lets us know that even if we don't have a maidservant, we do have things that God has blessed us with that helps us with our daily tasks. And that is true, y'all. It says, to the Hebrews, the day began in the morning. Oh, in the evening. To the Hebrews, Hebrews the day began in the evening with rest, family fellowship, as well as study and meditation to God's word. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. One way to do that is to devote the evening hours to quiet rest, reflection, and inner preparing. In other words, to prepare yourself in the evening for the coming day, as well as to plan your day's schedule upon rising in the morning. So I hope that y'all have gotten something out of that this morning. I know I did. We're all guilty of not spending enough time with the Lord, I think. Um, we're all guilty of not praying enough for our families and praying for those who are close to us, um, praying for this uh, nation, uh, and being thankful for everything God has given us. So just keep in mind, those of y'all that were just turning in, one of my first things that I said was, the preacher said this Sunday, was um, if all you had today is what you thank the Lord for yesterday, what would you have? And that's a lot bite off and chew. So um, I'm going to end today by reading a psalm, and of course we'll have a prayer. And it, and just remember that uh, we can't do anything without God. He allows us to get up in the morning. He allows us to breathe. He allows us to have our health and to do the things that we do. Uh, so we need to be thankful for him. I am going uh, to read a psalm. Let me find the one I was going to read. Doo, 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 doo. I think this one is pretty. Now, now there's plenty in here. I mean, there's, you know, tons of psalms. And I'll look through a few. Uh, I have just been going in order, but today it's talking about um, enemies, and I don't really want to talk about enemies today. Um, so we're going to read the glory of the Lord in creation. Um, and let's just think about how good God is, what he's done for us. It says, Psalm 8, the glory of the Lord in creation. To the chief mus musician on the instrumental of Gath, a psalm of David. It says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. 
who have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. So when we think about this, this is a good psalm to be thankful for because God, when he created man, made us in his image. He made us have dominion over the things that he has made with his hands. The fowl of the air, the, I mean, yeah, the fowl of the, the birds in the air, the, the fish in the sea, the creeping things on the earth. Um, it is a blessing that he placed us here on this earth and he created us to have dominion. Um, it is a blessing that he created the moon and the stars and us and this earth. It's even more amazing that he sent his son here to die on a cross to, to um, pay for our sin. Um, we should be very thankful every day we wake up just to see the sunshine, just to have a place here on this earth because that's what God has chosen for us. Um, I know this time of year, a lot of people get depressed. And I do have a lot of viewers who are depressed, who are shut-ins. Um, and I just want to say to you that today, try your best to take the focus off of you and place it on the Lord. And place it on what He has actually done for us. Because we are so blessed. There's so many things that God has blessed us with that we don't take the time out to look at, to see, to study, to, to experience. Um, something as simple as smelling a flower. Something as simple as looking at a beautiful flower. Something as simple as waking up in the morning and seeing the sunrise. Um, look at his creation. And try to focus on the things that he has done for man. And it will help you. I just want to tell y'all that I'm thankful for the Lord. I'm thankful for everything he's done for me and my family. Um, I mean, I could never thank him enough. And I'm thankful for Color Valley Cooks. I'm thankful that he um, nudged me to start it. I'm very thankful that he nudged me to start doing a Bible study and it made me get back in his word um, and think about him more, want to be a part of a church family again. Um, there's just all kind of blessings that God gives us, especially when we decide to follow him and read his word. He gives us not only what we need, but sometimes what we want. So y'all just remember that. I hope that y'all have a blessed day in the Lord. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. Some of you still may be like me and eating today or the weekend for your family. Um, so I hope you enjoy Color Valley Cooks today. And we're going to try to cook up a nice little meal. Now it's just the five of us, me, my husband, my two children, and my mother. I'll actually take her plate. So it won't be a huge feast, but it will still be a feast, and that's all we need. Um, so let's say our prayers. It's so good to see everybody. Janine is here this morning. Marsha, Carolyn, Marilyn, Patsy, Paula, 
Linda, so good to see you ladies. You're out, not out shopping this morning. That's good. Um, so let's say our prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for Thanksgiving. We thank you for having a day that's set aside to be thankful for all that we have and all that you have done for us, um, including our health, our mind, our, our uh, place that we live, and even the things like being created in your image and you giving us dominion over things. There's so many things that if we just pick up the Word of God and read, we would be reminded of what you've done for us. May you continue to remind us throughout the day um, how good you are. May you be with us today. Help us um, as we prepare the meal for our families. And those who are out shopping, please keep them safe. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I'll see y'all in a little while. Love ya.